I'm Kate and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get this unique cool toned fall makeup look. I know for me when I think cool tones in fall I think grayish and I think purples but I did have a very unique inspiration for this toned makeup look and just keep watching if you want to find out what that is and if you end up liking this video and liking this look I would love for you to give it a big ol' thumbs up and also if you would like to hang out with me every Monday and Friday I would love for you to tap that red subscribe button right down there. All right let's jump right in to the makeup tutorial. All right, so as you can tell, I already have my foundation base on along with my brows. They will be linked down below. It's my Benefit Brow Routine and my Flawless Foundation Routine. And the lipstick I have on, I know it kind of just looks like balm, but it's this really great product by Clinique and it's called Black Honey and it's from their Almost Lipstick line. This is what I use in place of lip balm when I'm going out or before I film because it gives my lips a little bit of color and it just wakens up my face a little bit and so I really really like it so if you're interested in something that's super soft and that's almost lipstick it's very well named then this is really pretty and again it's in the shade black honey so I'm going to be starting off with my eyes and obviously I did something a little bit different with my hair these curls I achieved with the retro pink curlers and I absolutely love it so I styled it with side swept bangs today and if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to get this hair I need just a little bit more practice before I sit down and show you on camera but I think they are absolutely beautiful and in my last tutorial it it was the one with the winged liner and the dark lips. Um, I will have that link down below. I also did a kind of softer retro wave and that I did with super, super simple overnight curls. So if you'd like to know how to achieve that, you know what to do. You can request it down below as well. But for today's look, I'm going to be starting with my eyes and you don't need to be told this because you see this in every single tutorial. If you've seen one of my videos, you know which primers I'm going to be using. Too Faced Shadow Insurance and MAC Painterly Paint Pot. The best combination for oily eyelids and it will not, it, ooh, wanna, wanna, wah, wah, wah. you will not see any creases in your eyeshadow whatsoever. This one first, this one second. Look what you just made me do, look what you just made me do. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this song. I'm so in love with New Taylor. I am so, so excited for her album to launch. The VMAs were on last night. I'm recording this on a Monday morning. So I got to see the release of the music video and I'm obsessed with it. I know some people are kind of like hating on her and I'm not sure why. But you know, that's why she made this video to get back at the haters. So I'm just so excited for it. I have some friends who are obsessed with Taylor Swift and I totally get it. I'm right there with them. <laughs> I love it. So let me know what you think of the video because I'm obsessed with it. It's like the dream revenge <laughs> that you would always want to do but never have the guts to do when she just went bam, <laughs> just hit them all right upside the head. So the look I am going for today, it's actually kind of funny where the inspiration came from, so I thought I'd share it with you because a lot of people kind of get caught up in the whole, I need to recreate a look or I need to get inspired from other people's looks or different palettes or whatever. But I got totally inspired to do this look based off of an aisle in Michaels. <laughs> they set up all of their fall stuff and I thought that this was absolutely beautiful and I don't know if you'll be able to see it so I'm just going to superimpose it over this but there are beautiful berry tones and the soft aqua and it's like so velvety and soft and beautiful so I'm going to put a couple pictures up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about but I just thought they were gorgeous and I've never seen a look like this done for fall so that's what I'm going for here today so again I'm using all coastal sense shadows because I'm obsessed with them and you can't get me away from them anymore so I'm going to be picking up a big fluffy brush dip it into the shade chamois nude chamois nude if you uh want to be fancy like me and this is the palette I put together here all of these really beautiful cool tones so I'm going to be playing with these colors here today so just pick this up and place it all over your lids then I'm going to pick up the shade Bazaar which is this one here and I'm actually going to use my finger for this step because it is a satiny finish and I really just want to place this right across my lid 
and I feel like I just get better control when I use my fingers sometimes. I don't do it often, but today I think it's really going to help me achieve the look I'm going for. If you are curious of what nail polish I'm wearing, it's by the brand Zoya, and I got this shade purely based on the name. <laughs> Not that it isn't a beautiful color, but the name is Odette, which is the name of the Swan Princess. And if you are a child of the 90s, you were probably into the Swan Princess, but not as much as me. I absolutely loved that movie and I recently found it on DVD and I cannot wait to get the time to sit down to watch it again because I loved it. I wanted to be her. I loved that she was so soft and graceful and elegant and yet still had this really cute, amazing personality. Loved that movie. Then I'm actually going to go in with a MAC blush as another eyeshadow, and this one is in the shade Breath of Plum, and I'm picking up my Luxie 229 brush, and I'm going to dip it softly into this, tap off the excess, and this I'm going to be bringing right along my entire crease area. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring it down into the inner corner or the outer corner yet. I think I'm just gonna leave it right up here in the crease. I am going to be bringing it down to the outer corner just to get this really pretty completed look. No bangs, no, stay. Get rid of that fallout before it uh, nestles in. Then I just cleaned off this brush in my Viramona color switch. This thing is a lifesaver if you don't have one of those. And I'm actually going to dip it back into Bazaar and I'm going to place more of this shade onto my lid but using a brush this time and then bringing it up a little bit higher. It's going to be easier to blend with a brush but to get that initial color it was definitely easier to lay it down with my fingers. Then I'm going to pick up Bazaar again but this time with my Spectrum A12 brush. Just dip it in here and this I'm going to be placing in the inner part of my lower lash line. Out here I'm going to be using a different color and I will also be highlighting my brow bone and my inner corner right in here. So just place it right there. If you see any little white dots on my eyes, uh, that's remnant lash glue because I was too lazy to get it all off. So <laughs> then using the same brush after I cleaned it off again, dipping it back into, can you see this? Max Breath of Plum and bringing it right out here. I'm going to be connecting it to the pink color, I guess, plum color, up here on my upper lid. Good heavens! I cannot come up with words today. Then to highlight my eyes bows, I am going to use the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. I believe this was limited edition, but this shade is not. This is Becca Pearl, so I'm going to pick up my MAC, what's this, 219 brush, and I'm going to highlight my brow bone lightly. You do not want to go in with a heavy hand with this because it is huh, very strong. Then to add a little pop of something something, I'm going to go in with my MAC Fix Plus. I don't know why I read things when I know exactly what they are. It drives me nuts. It's like, ah, oh, what is this? You know what it is. You use it every day. So I'm going to grab my Tarte Unicorn brush. It's this guy, the, uh, the shader brush, I guess. And I'm going to give it a little spritz, a lot of spritz. And then I'm going to dip it into the shade. I keep bonking my mic like a dork. Wizardry right here. Just going to dip it in like so. And I'm going to pop this right onto the top of my lid space, I guess. I am digging this. It's so different. I love it. I love it. Then for something I haven't done for a little while because I've been doing winged eyes pretty much every single day since I've decided to do this whole retro makeover for myself. Winged liner has been where it's at. So I'm going to go into... 
I'm going to go in with my Catrice Cole Kajal and this I'm going to just make a nice thin line all the way across. And then I'm going to smoke it out, smoke it out. Doo -doo. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. Go in with mascara. Tight line with Maybelline's Define Line in Ebony Black, both my upper and my lower. And then it's time for lashes. And I picked these out not knowing the name of these. I just wanted the style. These are by Coco Lashes and I love these. But it's ironic because their name is Marilyn, which is funny because, it's ironic because, I just saw my first Marilyn Monroe movie this past weekend and we watched Some Like It Hot. It's funny because I don't think I've ever heard her talk. I've seen a lot of pictures of her and I've heard the iconic Happy Birthday song that she sang, but I've never really heard her talk and I, it's like, how? How? I can be obsessed with all of this retro stuff and I've never actually done that? Mind blowing, I know. But these lashes are gorgeous and they're super soft and fluffy and they're beautiful and they're wingy so I can't wait to put these on. So I'm going to use my rather interesting looking Revlon lash glue. Obviously this baby's a fave but it really needs a bath because it's getting embarrassing. I really like lash glues that paint on because it makes everything easier and if you can make anything easier I am all in. I'm going to set those aside to dry a little bit, and then I'm going to be going in with Max Blush Baby. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that this is one of my absolute favorite blushes of all time. It's the perfect blush that gives you that in-between. It's still slightly natural, but it's definitely still a standout on your cheeks. It's not like super, super soft. I love it. Then I like to go in with just a soft powder brush. This is what I use to set my face. I have a little bit of RCMA No Color Powder on top of it. It's just remnant from whatever I used earlier just to go over the blush because I feel like it really blends it out and it prevents the blush from looking too strong and overwhelming for the look. The lashes aren't quite ready yet, so I'm going to grab that Becca Jaclyn Hill palette again, but I'm going to be using only the color Pearl and I'm going to be using another spectrum brush. I'm back. This one is in the, not the shade, it's in the number B05. So I'm just going to pick up Pearl and place it right onto my cheeky bones. Then I grab just a little bit of Champagne Pop, which is right in the middle, just to give it a touch of warmth without it being too warm toned for the look. Then I feel like if the highlight just came down a little bit too far, again using remnant powder, just take your blush brush, add a little bit back to your face. Okay, my lashes are ready, so I'm going to pop these on. Wish me luck, cause you never know how this is gonna go. Now I'm going to grab my NYX High Voltage Lipstick, and this is in the shade Flutter Kiss, which is the cutest name ever. Then I'm going to grab my Winky Lux gloss, and this one is in the shade Truffle. Then I'm going to finish off everything with Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. I do have other setting sprays that I'm dying to try. They're right in there, but I need to finish off this baby before I open a new bottle. So refreshing. <laughs> I totally forgot to go in with my Dolly Wink liquid liner right over top of the lashes just to really make sure they stay blended in. If you would like to become virtual frenzies, I would love for you to tap that red subscribe button down below and also you can find me on all of my socials right up here. All right, my darlings, I love you all dearly and I will see you next time in my new video. And remember, be kind, be smart, and be glamorous.